Uh, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to um, animate the blades of this helicopter. All right, to make it look like an actual animation, we're going to use. I'm going to open my calculator here. Um, 15 seconds of spin, which is uh, 360 frames at playing at 24 frames per second. Okay, and we want to go from frame one. Oops. From frame 1 to 360. Okay, good. And um, let's have the initial spin. Well, first of all, let's set this up in the outliner. So this is the main rotor. You, you could call yours something similar. I'm going to make two more copies. And I'm going to take the main rotor, hold down Control. I'm holding down Control on my keyboard to select this. I'm going to hit Control G. And I'm going to call this group Rotor. <coughs> Excuse me, Rotor Group. Okay? And uh, what we're going to do here is very simple. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to highlight all this. And we're going to go to our, let's see which rotate. It's going to be the Y. I'm just going to hit S, just to key it here. So let's have the initial spin go for five seconds. It's going to start up. So that's the first 120 frames. And let's have it do five revolutions. So we're going to go to <coughs> frame 120 here. And let's have it do five revolutions in that 20 seconds. Actually, let's have it do six. That's uh, 2160. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go on the group. We're going to put in rotate Y, and we're going to put in 2160. And then click all three. You want to highlight all three here and hit S. So this is what we have now. The problem is I'm not getting any acceleration. So I'm going to go to Window Graph Editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the, uh, the rotor group. And the green here is the rotate Y. I'm going to drag my frame to around around there. <coughs> I'm going to hit make sure I'm on all three, excuse me, <coughs> and hit S. So what am I going to do? I'm going to drag this. I'm going to highlight it. I could hit F to focus if I want. Uh, hit F. And then I'm going to move my screen up here. I'm going to middle mouse button and drag it down and over. Okay? And I'm going to drag this one and I'm going to click that to flatten it out so it's smooth. And uh, let's see what this looks like. Let's see if I'm getting a, enough of a, uh, an acceleration here. Mm, not bad. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, add another one here. Okay, we're going to highlight this. I want it to look something more like... I definitely want to go to 120. So I want I want this to be at 120. Whoops. I definitely want that to be at 120. Okay. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to highlight this one. I'll take these two and move them over like this. Just like that. Okay, so you're getting this kind of, um, let me move it over a little bit more, let me highlight the top and curve it just a bit, highlight the top here and curve it just a bit, and I'm going to go here and I'm going to put this one, actually I'm not going to do that, definitely don't want that, no. Yep, that, that one's good. It smooths it out a bit. Okay, this looks pretty good. Let me just move this over a little bit more. And I'm going to move this over a little bit more. And let's see how this looks.
That's good. The only thing is we're going backward here. So we're gonna we need to fix that. So how is that happening? Well what's happening is this. Is this point here? Actually when we want to go and rotate Y. See how the point dips like that? We don't want that. So we need to raise this up. So if this is if this value is lower than this value over here, it will go backward. And that looks pretty stupid. So we don't want to do that. And we're going to make this a little less sharp by just taking these and doing this. Okay. Again, we want to make sure that's at 120. Okay. This works. And now what we're going to do is the following. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, but let's just take a look at the animation now. It's perfect. It's a little funky over here, so let's fix this. Okay. So I'll make sure I didn't touch any of those. Nope. Okay, we'll keep it the way it is. It's fine. Alright, now what we're going to do is we had it spin, this is, uh, we'll put 2400. We had it spin that many times, so that's... That's uh, about six spins, or so. Six, six and two-thirds spins, it's fine. So what we want to do now is, uh, well, we're not going to have it spin. We're actually going to slow it down. This is going to look a little weird. But follow me here. Um, open. Go to here. Make sure you're at frame 120. And uh, take this wing and move it out like this. And take this one and move it out like that. So it's going to look like it's it's spinning so fast it only has four blades. And then we're going to go to our outliner and highlight all this and hit S. Okay? Now let's have this thing spin. We don't want it to spin too fast. Let's have it spin uh, five times every 120 frames. So that's uh, 360. That's 240 frames. We'll have it spin five times every 120 frames. So I'll have it spin uh, about 10 more times. And that would be uh, 3,600. So what we're going to do is this. Let me, sh let me explain. We're going to go to here. And you're going to go to your rotor group. And we're going to put rotate. We're going to add 3,600 to this. Forgive me for my awful arithmetic. So we're going to make it 6,000. Highlight everything and hit us. So let's see what this looks like. That looks good. It looks like a, an actual helicopter spin. It looks like it's flipping around in different ways, but it's it's not. It should have been probably a little bit less. Let's actually decrease it. Let's decrease this a little bit. What's nice about this is you could always go back to this and decrease it. Let's do uh let 
I don't know, four less rotations. So we'll do uh, 6,000 minus 360 times 4 equals, so 840. Three sixty times four, fourteen forty. The fourteen four thousand five hundred and sixty four five sixes. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see. Looks like it's switching directions a little bit. Oh, because it's less. Okay, I made a mistake here. I'm going to go to my graph editor and f figure out where I ma made my... Ah, right there. That's why it's changing direction. So we're just going to bring this up like that. Okay, this is perfect. And what we're going to do is make a, a flat line. And just take this. So let's do that. Okay, again, we don't want any of this... Ah. Any of this... Um, curvature. That's going to create a How can we fix this? Let's see. No. It's not bad. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's move this up. Okay. There we go. Thank goodness for the graph editor. So I'm just highlighting and clicking the middle mouse button to move stuff around. And there you go. This this should do it. So we could tell that from here to here, it's going up fast, and then basically it stays constant. If you're uh, if you're calculating slope right here, this is basically a uh, a constant slope. Yeah, that's good. Which is exactly what you want. Let's just go ahead and fix these a little. And let's go ahead and test it out. This shouldn't change direction in a weird way now. There we go. That's good. You could say to yourself, well, I noticed that this number is a little bit big. So what I might want to do is take this and bring it down a lot like this. I still want this to be at frame 360, but let's say maybe I only want 7,000. Let's see how this looks. As long as these points are higher, you're, you're okay. Let's just move that down a little bit. And let's take a look at the animation. And it's perfect. It's a little weird in the beginning. There's a little bit of going backward, so let's fix that. Let's figure out what, what's going on here. It's going backward due to... Maybe this? No. Let's only go to rotate Y. That's all we want to look at. Oh, it's right here. So what we're going to do is that. I'm just going to click that. And that's going to make sure that V snap is going to make sure it, uh, don't want that. 
it excel it's 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 accelerating okay let's not snap this one let's uh let's keep this one smooth it's gonna look better okay now let's test it out Perfect. If you want, what you could do is when you go to frame 120, you could separate these out a little bit more. That's uh, the really nice thing about um, making sure we're selecting everything and hitting S every time. And that's good. Let's go to playback. This real time is 30. Let's do um, other. We're going to put 24. Save. There you go. It looks pretty good. That'll work. A little weird at the beginning. A little weird here. I'm going to smooth this out. I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to smooth that out too. Okay. I'm just going to highlight this one, middle mouse button. Just bring it up a little bit. And I'm just going to click on it, MMB it over, and we have a nice curve now. This should look a little bit better. Let's see. I'm going to have to tweak and then test. Yep. Okay, so I just want you to do the same exact thing with the rear rotor as well. <coughs> and then from here, you know, you want to group your, uh, you should have had a, a whole group of your helicopter before you did this, but if you don't, I think it should still be okay, let's see. It's usually okay going from, uh, uh, big to small, let's see, nope. So what you have to do in this case is you have to make a group. So I'm just going to hit... Control G. I'm going to make a null group, and I'm going to highlight everything, and I'm going to middle mouse button inside the group. So now I have my my group here. Modify center pivot. Now this will lift up. I still have my animation, and you could start to actually animate the group. Let me just uh, review what I just did. So what I did is I just went in here and I hit. Control G. I just made a null group. I'm going to call this Heli. Heli group. And I'm going to highlight everything. And I'm going to take my middle mouse wheel, click on it, and go right into where there are two black lines are there. You could do it there, or you could do it here. Window, hypergraph, scene hierarchy. And I can highlight all this stuff. And just drag it, uh, middle mouse button rather, right into there. Right. So just click it and drag it in. Drag it in. Right, you can just go ahead and do that. I actually think it's easier to do it within the outliner. I'm just middle mouse button and clicking. And there you go. That's my whole group. Same thing, two different ways. Okay, I hope you found this informative and easy. And then uh what I want you to do is I want you to rotate the uh back and then after you get this spinning I actually want you to have it take off and um, just have it fly across the sky. And then we'll, we'll build our um, turret in to follow it. Okay? That uh, concludes this video.